guys, it's our day. It's our day together. It's uh, it's Friday. My name is Orly Shani. If you guys have not been here yet or you've never seen a video, welcome to the party. Um, I do such, such fun DIYs on this show and so many of them are inspired by you guys watching. This DIY today is no exception. So a couple of weeks ago, I put up something on my Instagram asking if anyone had any DIYs that they wanted to see and I got a ton of responses. One of the ones that really like, I got maybe five or six, was the photo of Hailey Bieber from her engagement party when she was wearing like that short white dress but she had these awesome heels on. They were white heels with like one heel had a really big fluffy bow on the right front foot. The other one had one on the back left heel. They are Jimmy Choo. They're beautiful. And a lot of people are wearing them like for weddings and stuff like that. But the black version with like ripped up jeans and a t-shirt, it would be so cool to have that really beautiful bow or with a pretty dress during the holidays. But they're super, super expensive. And that's where I come in. I'm so excited. Guys, if you enjoy this video while you're watching it, please, please do me a huge favor and subscribe to the channel. I love making these videos so much, so that's a really huge part of continuing to do it is, is letting the channel grow. So I thank you, and if you do subscribe, please let me know in the comments so that I can um, give you a personal thank you. All right, let's get right into it, because this is so gorgeous. I can't wait for you to see how to make them. Me too. All right, so this is the horsehair. This is the material that you need to make this. Now, when you're figuring out your first bow, you just wanna figure out how wide it can be without touching the floor. So what I did is I started it in the center of my heel so that I would hide the beginning and then just folded it over until it covered the entire heel. Now, to actually create the bow, you wanna like stagger it. So you want the bottom layer to be the widest. Then you wanna kinda come in about a half an inch and go back and forth another loop. Now come in another half inch, go back and forth another loop I recommend doing about four loops and that's how you start to create your bow so here I'm doing my last loop and the last one is gonna get hidden uh, and you'll see how in just a minute so cut enough excess that you can actually fold it and tack it all down now you can see when you squish it together what's awesome is that the center springs together but the rest of the bow springs right out so take a needle and thread with a nice big knot on the bottom so that it doesn't pull through and you're gonna wrap it around the bow. So keep holding it together, not letting go of your shape. Wrap it around and now pull. And you can see it like springs the whole thing together, collapsing it only in the center. Now what I found was best was just to wrap, 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 wrap so that it stayed nice and tight, but you're not done. If you let go, the actual ribbon could kind of just fly apart. So what you wanna do is now go up and down and actually sew it together so that all of the layers are tacked down to each other, not only wrapped around. So I would go through maybe eight or nine times when you're done, knot it off and just cut off your excess. Now you can see the great shape that that bow has. That little tab was the excess piece that I gave myself just so that I had a little extra room. You just cut it off and you can see how perfectly it like hugs and rounds the front of the heel. It's just, I mean, it's the easiest thing. It's, it's so amazing. So now I'm using a black velvet ribbon. That's because that matches my shoe, but you can use anything that you want to create the center of the bow. A little bit of hot glue or E6000 or Fabri-Tac, whatever you want, and hide it on the underneath part of the shoe. Obviously something like this is so soft that it's gonna feel fine on my foot. Velvet's super comfy. Now I'm just cutting off the little bit of excess and adding a tiny bit of the glue to the bow just so that it's got one more layer of protection, making sure that it's nice and centered exactly where I want it. Now I'm going to take that little ribbon and flip it over and attach it on the back side. So again, just a little bit of glue on the end so that when I wrap it around, I'm seaming it up with the original piece of the velvet trim, which was on the bottom. Pinch it into place, hold it, make sure it has tons of time to dry. And you can see, I mean, that's it. Like it is the easiest thing ever. I, I kind of couldn't believe it. Now on the bottom, you can see that that's where everything is hidden. So from the top, it's perfectly clean finished. And from the bottom, it's really soft and comfortable. Now we're gonna make the big one on the back. This is how I realized the best way was to make the one that looked exactly like theirs. You're gonna create a loop on one side with two straight ends on the other, and you're gonna do that twice. So create the loop, figure out how big it feels like it needs to be for the back of your heel, and then do the same thing. Needle and thread, come up through the bottom, wrap, 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 and then actually tack it backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, until you have this sort of one-sided bow. Once that one is done, you're going to make an identical one that's gonna go on the other side. So just double check that you've got the same size loop. You can just sort of line it up to your first one and make sure, again, the same exact process, and now you have two of them. 
Now we're gonna make a simple bow, just a simple loop on one side, loop on the other. Now you're gonna notice with the horse hair that one direction versus the other might create more volume. So just kind of play with it until you see that you've really got the volume that you want, that it's as full and voluminous as possible. Now, again, same exact process, needle and thread up through the bottom with a nice big knot, pull until it springs together in the center, wrap, 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 and then up and down, up and down with your needle and thread so that again, it can't possibly unspring and open up on you. Once that one is done, cut off the little excess and now it's time to create the actual like lay, like the way that it actually lays on the back. Now, you're gonna have them crisscross each other, the first two. And this is actually something I wanted to show you. Do you see how this horse hair naturally, just the way that it was wrapped, it kind of has its own shape? You want it to hug around the front of the heel. So you don't want it to, to face out. You want it to face around the front of the heel. So figure out how you want them to lay. You want the two half bows to kind of X each other, and then you want the main bow to go right in the center. Look at it until it looks right to you and it has the, the right shape, the right balance, and all of that. And once it is, you're gonna just wanna tack it down with a teeny bit of glue. So first things first, I put a little glue on the back of my heel with my uh, ribbon. This is what's gonna tack it into place. This is all gonna be hidden, but you still wanna line it up right to the edge of the heel. Just a teeny bit of glue, like an inch, and that's it. Now let that dry. We're gonna grab the two half bows, create the exact layout and structure that you want, and put the tiniest bit of glue. You just want like a dab just so that it keeps the exact angle that you designated. Now that that's done, add in the bow. Figure out exactly where you want that. Grab a tiny bit of glue, drop the glue in again so that now this is like one bow. You can attach the whole thing and it's not going to move because you created the perfect shape. Now take a look at how high or how low you want it. Once you see where you want it, add some glue right into the inside of the ribbon, right? This is the wrong side of our ribbon. Press it down and hold it. Give it a second to dry, just hold it in place. And now we're going to wrap it. Again, this is going to clean finish it and hold it into place. So both processes are really important. Cut off the excess, add some glue onto the front of the bow and lay your ribbon right on top of it. Now this is, again, you can see how pretty and clean finished it looks from every angle. Even here on the center, all this is gonna be is like a tab of black crisp velvet. So again, soft on our heel and it actually looks really pretty. So there we go, I'm pressing it down, holding it into place. I kind of took a look, made sure that everything was just right, and I realized that I needed a little bit more glue because it was kind of, you see how it's sort of wobbling on me right under there? So I lifted it back, added a teeny bit more of the glue onto the inside and pressed it down. And again, you can use E6000 or Fabri-Tac, but I use top glue. And that's it, it's, it's done. I mean, you guys, they're done. It, it, this is insane. They're like exact. I'm actually really impressed. I thought I was gonna be able to get them close, but this is this is pretty darn identical. Um, I gotta say, you guys, the horsehair is the only way to go. Do not use tool. Do not try using a different kind of mesh ribbon. You need horsehair because it collapses completely down in the center, but because it's got that webbing, it allows the rest of the loop in each of the bows to spring back out. It doesn't like smash them down. So that's why you end up with this really great bouncy organic shape. So you need the horsehair. Um, the one that I bought was a three inch horsehair, but you can make the bows smaller if you want. Now, I'm just gonna say this and put this out there. If I was doing this and not trying to show you guys how to make the Jimmy Choo version, I would just do two like this. To me, this is absolutely the way to go. Two matching heels like this, I think is way more versatile, less trendy. Like, you know, in a year from now, this one might be like the moments past. So if you're making it, I would actually recommend doing this, but because I showed you the Aveline shoe, I really wanted to show you exactly how to make the one I, uh, I told you I would. Uh, if you guys liked this video, which I hope that you did, please, please do subscribe to the channel. It makes such a huge difference and it lets me dedicate more and more time to making great videos and really coming up with great ideas and learning and having the time to practice the techniques and all that stuff. So subscribe to the channel, click the bell so you get a notification when I have a new video. And lastly, please, please share this with a friend. You guys can hit that share button, post it on your Facebook page or Instagram, whatever, screenshot it. Um, it makes all the difference in the world in letting people know that this channel exists. So thank you so much. I'm gonna show you how I wear them, show you how they move around. They're so fun. And I'll see you next week. Bye. So just take my hand Cause you know I don't wanna play Pretend Stay with me Take a chance Baby, roll the dice
advice Gotta give me some love Cause when I'm with you I'm in paradise You know how to make me feel alive Gotta give me some love, nah, nah Gotta give me some love, nah, nah, nah Gotta give me some love, nah, nah, nah You gotta give me some love, nah, nah